Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and today I'm back with another interesting video and it's about WordPress in less than five minutes. Yes, you heard me right again. It's we are going to install a fully functional WordPress website and it's going to be with PHP, MySQL, Apache and in less than five minutes provided you have a good internet connection. So before I start the video, I would like this opportunity and I would like to introduce one of my new channel. It's called Relax With Nature and I will post the link in the description. So if you or your family would like to hear a good music and in, want to relax, please do subscribe to my new channel and you will be not disappointed. So let's start. Okay, before I start, I would like to show you the script which I wrote, uh, which will automatically install everything from scratch. And again, we are going to use Amazon EC2 instance. Let me show you that. So this is the instance which we are going to install our WordPress uh, website on. This is the IP address and I'm using CentOS 7. And also the domain which we are going to use today is singidle.com. So this is my own domain and we are going, at, at the moment you can see that nothing is installed on it. Okay, so this is my, I've already logged into my Amazon EC2 instance and here is the script. So I need to change the script. So let's change the script to from lampstack.sh to lampstack.txt2 lamstack.sh and uh, I will be posting the link to the script in the below description and also you are you are free to distribute this uh, script you want to modify it you can do it uh, but please make sure if you do that let me know because so it will help other people as well so anyway uh, let's start so first thing is I would like to show you what's inside the scripts. So first thing, it's going to disable your SE Linux. Uh, you can enable it later. And then what it's going to do is it's going to install some repositories. Then it's going to install WordPress automatically. Then it's going to set up some firewall rules if you don't have one. Uh, then it's going to set up some virtual environment for your WordPress. Then it's going to install Let's Encrypt uh, certificate. Then it's going to install MariaDB for you. Then it's going to like ask you for some uh, MySQL passwords. And then it's going to give you a predefined password with your domain. So this is the simple script. So let's start. So to run that, I'm going to just give the command sh and lampstack.sh if everything goes well. So we will have our fully functional WordPress website under five minutes. Here we go. Okay, so it's installing the packages. As you can see, it's now updating or installing SnapD. SnapD is important for Let's Encrypt. And before SnapD, it disabled SE Linux. And now it's updating some SnapD and you can see that it has updated or installed SnapD. And now it's installing Apache, you can see, it's creating symlinks, enabled Apache, now it's installing, and uh, like, it's extracting actually WordPress. And now it's installing, it's going to install PHP and packages. Okay, so firewall rules are already enabled. You can, because it's uh, it was a test server. So now it's asking you the domain name. So my domain name is singidle.com. Okay, so this is the domain name, singidle.com. Yes, this is correct. So if you press no here, it's going to restart the script.
sometimes this uh, gives you error like it's really fast but that's why it's I have mentioned it twice to install snap so hopefully it's not going to give us any error for a newly uh, like a newly installed EC2 instance you are not going to get this kind of messages like file already exist or not okay so which names would you like to activate HTTPS for so yes the answer is one requesting a certificate okay perfect you can see that it's congr congratulations you have successfully enabled HTTPS on singidle.com and then it's uh, going to install MariaDB and it's it, it's going to be latest MariaDB by the way from the repository okay so enter current password for root if you don't have the password press enter and since I it's a, uh, like a test system I already have root password for it so do you want to change the root, root password no uh, so do you want to rem remove anonymous users yes disallow root login yes so it's just running some security features of MariaDB reload privileges yes uh, please enter the MySQL root password so this is root password it pings.com you will provide of course the password you have uh, provided it pings.com and uh, it's giving you an error because this again this is a test system but on your machine it's not going to give you an error because my database already exists however uh, please open the browser and your database name is WordPress uh, the database user is at pings.com and your password is at pings.com just note down these things these credentials and now you can change these credentials in the script by the way uh, so let's go to our website here and if I refresh this time reload and moment of truth perfect we have our WordPress installation so yes uh, United States okay next so let's go so WordPress database name is so here are all the informations so my database name is WordPress user is database user is at pings.com so username is going to be at pings.com and the password is Copy it. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so there's an error. This means that the username and password information in your uh, config file is incorrect or can't establish the connection. So let's check uh, our, uh, what is the error? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. So the problem is with the username. Actually, it was not itpings.com. It's only itpings. And the password is the same password, itpings.com underscore 2021. Now press submit. And you can see that, all right, Sparky, you have made it through this part of the installation. So WordPress can now communicate with your database, run the installation. And here we have it, site title. So this is going to be Sing Idle. Sing Idle. And username, you can give it pings, dot, it pings or itpings.com. Anything, your email is like learning. Or I can give admin at techco.net. And install WordPress. And don't forget to copy the password. Okay. I hope I have copied it. Yes. And now login. Username is it pings and the password is the password. Press enter. And perfect. We are in our dashboard. 
that's awesome so now you can up, up, upgrade it or whatever you want to do but first thing I would like to do is log out now okay so first thing okay now we are in so first thing I would like to do is change the appearance go to themes and just install like any theme let's, let's make it okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to our I'm going to open a web a browser in cognito mode and go to sing idle.com and perfect you can see that we have our HTTPS certificate is valid for sing idle and it's using Latin let's encrypt and here is your fully functional website so guys hope you like my video it was WordPress in five minutes and I know it took a little more time because there were some internet uh, connection issues so anyway thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so see you in our next video where i'm going to create another script about security so till then goodbye god bless